St. Lucia's Minister of Agriculture, Alfred Prosper, recently highlighted new marketing opportunities for exporting bananas to Canada, presenting it as a promising prospect for local farmers. The initial shipment of 100 boxes has set the stage for what Prosper envisions as a bright future for St. Lucia's banana industry, with Canada emerging as a potential staple market for the island's signature fruit. This development comes as the ministry continues efforts to expand export markets and create more profitable avenues for local farmers. I just want to announce that we've gotten a small market in Canada for our bananas, and that is particularly green bananas. Just last week, we were able to make our first export of about 50 boxes, and that is via air, which is the plane, the aircraft, which is Air Canada, and we are hoping today that we can export 140. We have to take advantage of this market, although it's a small market, but the good thing about it is that it's not ripe bananas, it's actually green bananas. So within one day or so, the, 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 the fruits can get to Canada and can be distributed throughout the country to be able to meet the persons who are actually consuming it. Local farmer Loa Alcador welcomed the announcement, emphasizing the Canadian market can indeed open new doors for hardworking St. Lucian farmers. He sees the initial shipment as a positive step that could lead to long-term benefits for those cultivating bananas on the island. However, Alcindor also underscored that this expansion will require careful logistical planning to prevent issues that have plagued previous export efforts, particularly around the challenges of transport and maintaining product quality. I believe transportation is one of the bigger issues we have to shift the fruits from one point to the other. Because when you're watching the amount of fruits on the ground, I'm a bit afraid that the same thing will repeat itself again. Alcindor expressed concerns over the difficulties involved in shipping bananas from St. Lucia to overseas markets, citing past instances where transportation bottlenecks led to spoilage and compromised shipments. The last time I was in the region, and you can see there are little places with little potential, but to get to get transportation to go these places. Because even with the Canadian market the minister is talking about, there is a, it is a potential market where that if you can get transportation, you can export easily a thousand boxes to Canada a week. But with a hundred boxes to Canada, because it's go, these um, fruits go by the airplane. And I don't know if it's a cargo or what, so what form of transportation, but they need a better form of transportation to move the fruit from St. Lucia to reach um, its destination. Despite the challenges, Alcindor remains hopeful that this partnership with Canada can strengthen St. Lucia's banana industry. He envisions a future where local farmers benefit from a dependable export market, allowing them to grow their business and support their communities. For him, this initiative represents an opportunity to show the resilience and quality of St. Lucian agriculture on the international stage. As long as the right measures are taken to protect the fruits from field to market. For Choice News Now, I am Kenise Baptist.